Lister's Brewery has come a long way since overfunding on Crowdcube at the beginning of the first lockdown. We've moved onto the Amring Park Estate in the heart of the South Downs and built our new brewery. We've expanded beer distribution with our hub model, launched Tailwagger Gin under the Tailwagger brand, and we're even turning our spent barley into healthy dog treats that are now in all 145 stores of the UK's second largest pet shop chain. Our aim is to make Lister's Brewery as sustainable as possible, with the reuse of our waste products, from turning them into pet treats, to using anaerobic digestion, to turn them into biogas to power the brewery, a project we've been working on with Portsmouth University. With ambitions to become a national brand, we set out to build a hub network through which we could distribute our beer directly to pubs and bars without using wholesalers and without reducing our margin. We send the beer through the pallet network to the actual depots themselves, where our drivers pick up the beer, deliver it and return the empties in the same way. We sell and deliver our products as far away as Carlisle using this method. To add to our distribution in the south, from Bath to the east coast of Kent and our hub in the northwest, we now have our own hubs in Hertfordshire and Peterborough, delivering beer from Hertfordshire to Lincolnshire and Northamptonshire to Norfolk and Suffolk. How do we sell to venues so far away? With our sales team, we've grown to six people who work remotely using our sales software that we designed. It has 72,000 potential sales outlets including every free house in the country preloaded to support what we think is one of the most comprehensive telesales operations in the industry. We not only know where our new potential customers are, we know what beers they sell, how many of them changing, and how many are unique. This is unique to us because we designed it. In fact, sales have grown so much, we've ordered another van dedicated to serving the Midlands. We never forget that Lister was a rescue dog, so we set up Lister's Dog Foundation where 5p from every pint of tail wagger and best bitter goes to smaller dog and animal charities that don't always get the same support as the bigger guys. Following on from the success of tail wagger, we've now diversified into dog treats which are made using our spent barley, therefore reducing our waste and reducing our carbon footprint. In March this year, we launched all three dog treat brands into all of the second largest pet shop chain in the UK, Pets Corner, with all 145 stores stocking them as well as other major pet food wholesalers. We want to continue with our plan and expand further. We want to intensify beer distribution in the areas we already cover and set up new hubs in other parts of the country. We also need to upgrade our brew plant where we currently brew five days a week, increasing soon to seven. The estate grows 1,000 tonnes of malting barley a year. and We want to have our first silo of it malted for us to brew with us and wholesale to other breweries as well as expand our range of dog treats and gins. And we want to install an anaerobic digester to power our brewery with our waste products. Join over 400 current shareholders on the Lister's journey and help take us even further. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>